Hello everyone, I think we should be live on the page. If we are, please leave me some likes and send me some comments on the page as well. It would be awesome to know where you are watching from today. I can see already we've got some international customers watching us as well, which is amazing. So thank you all so, so much for joining me this Saturday night. It is six o'clock here in the UK. We've had a bit of thunder and lightning and it's been raining today in Durham, so it hasn't been very nice. But I think that means it's the perfect weather to craft, doesn't it? So, hopefully, yes, we are all live on the page, which is incredible. So, first of all, I want to say a massive thank you to you all because the support that we have had for these amazing, okay, they are incredible, new nesting dies has just been unbelievable. I think you all sent the website into meltdown last night. It has been absolutely crazy. So, we have actually sold out of some of them already. We've sold out of the big bundle. But I still wanted to come on and do this Facebook Live to give you lots of ideas as to how to use them when you get all of your fabulous new goodies home, which is so, so exciting. Thank you so much for all of your comments. They are absolutely amazing. Thank you to Tracy, to Carol, to Joanna. Thank you all so much um, for joining me today. I can see that we've got lots of you watching on the live feed, which is amazing. We've got Joanne watching, I think, in the USA. Oh, my word. There are so many comments coming in. But yes, thank you all so much. So I promised you we'd have a Facebook Live tonight. I was hoping that we'd have stock of all of the nesting dies left. That was the grand plan, okay? I've got grand plans for Facebook this week. I was going to be posting lots of inspiration and lots of ideas. We had blog posts going on, all sorts going on, which is still going to go ahead. But unfortunately, some of the dyes have sold out, but we have still got some left, which is amazing. So you're going to have the opportunity to grab hold of these um, on the website right now. And there are literally just a handful of some of these left. So if you want them, you need to be hopping over to Chloe's Creative Cards and popping them into your shopping basket. So, without further ado, if you missed my Facebook Live on Wednesday, which was at 2 o'clock, it was a little preview of the fabulous new products that we just launched on the website last night. So, I have always wanted layer and dies for my project, but I've always wanted them in 8x8 in size. And it's something that I've looked for, but I've never seen them out there. And I'm always really specific as well about the um, kind of the increments that I want the dies in. So what we have done is we have engineered these dies to be perfect for your mats and layers for your 8x8 projects. So you are going to need an A4 die cutting machine to make the most of these sets. Um, I we have engineered them so they cut through two thick sheets of card as well. So it would be like um, two sheets of, I'll use the Craft UK 300 GSM card. Two sheets of that, they cut through like a dream. Um, they are just incredible dies. They are fantastic for creating your shaped card blanks, for creating your easel cards, for obviously doing your mats and layers as well. They are just amazing. Thank you all so much for joining me. I can see lots of you are leaving lots and lots of comments. I would love to know which dies you've gone for as well. Or were you like, I just need them all. So you were straight on there last night at 7 o'clock ordering. Okay then. So these dies are incredible. We've basically got two different options shape-wise. So we've got the fabulous basic shapes. So this one's the square and look at the size of these. They are huge and they were, they're so heavy as well. When you pick them up, you really know that you've got a good set of dies in your hands here. So we've got the fabulous basic square. So this starts at eight by eight in size and then it nests down in quarter inch increments all the way down to one inch. So within this set, you've got 29 metal dies, okay? We have then got the fabulous nesting rectangle as well. And quite a few of you have um, sent me some questions about the size of this. So the, the nesting rectangle is eight inches by six and three quarter inches. And that's the largest one. Okay. But again, these are incredible for um, doing your mats and layers. These drop down in quarter inch increments again. And you are getting, um, let me just check, 24 metal dies in that pack. They are honestly incredible value. Okay. The next one that we've got here is the fabulous circle again you've got those nesting down in quarter inch increments all the way up from eight inches down to one inch in size and again you've got 29 dies in this one the next one we have got this fabulous nested oval design which is beautiful a really really lovely shape to this one and in here you've got 24 metal dies and they again all nest from eight inches across right the way down to one inch okay and they drop down in quarter inch increments so these are fabulous 
awesome for your mats and layers okay really really good and i'm going to show you the basic dies in action tonight so I kind of focused a little bit on the fancy ones on wednesday so i thought i'd show you the basic ones because honestly you are going to want these in your craft box they are incredible they're going to make you matting and layering a breeze if like me you are not good at cutting straight lines that's me that is me these are incredible you can also gut all of your mats and layers so again if like me you are a little bit of a paper hoarder and can't bear to throw things out you can be gutting all of the centers of your beautiful papers with these as well i can see that lots and lots of you are asking me questions and things about the sandwich combination that i'm using for my gemini i'm going to demonstrate that in a little bit okay so those are the basic designs so these are all 24.99 each and they are available on the website chloe's creative cards.co.uk if you just click on the new in page they are literally all pop up on there okay we've got some awesome bundles as well so basically if you buy all four of the basic dies together you make a 20 percent saving on the rrp okay so that bundle's all listed on the website i can pop the little graphic up here there we go so that is the bundle that we have available for the basic shapes so you can see the rrp on that would be 99.96 but you save 20 percent by buying the full bundle making it 79.96 okay and you were getting 106 metal dies in there that's like less than a pound a die that is crazy value and they all come under their own magnetic storage sheet as well which is incredible okay so those are your basic designs we also have the fabulous fancy designs as well so these are beautiful and we've got a handful of some of these left so we've got the beautiful fancy circle design which is that lovely round shape it's going to be awesome for using on your square card blanks again these start off at eight inches across and nest down to one inch in half inch increments this time with them being the fancy shapes they all come on a magnetic st magnetic storage sheet as well which is incredible and then the next one that we have is the beautiful fancy rectangle i'm going to be demonstrating this one to you tonight i'm going to make a little easel card with this one and it's absolutely beautiful it's a lovely one for all of your mats and layers i've actually got a project from glynis going up on the blog with this one on monday and we're going to use it in wednesday's stamp along as well so the size of the rectangles just to confirm it starts off at eight inches across eight eight by six and three quarter inches is the size of the rectangle the largest one okay the next one now this one has actually sold out on the website this is the fancy square design so this will be awesome for your mats and layers on all of your eight by eight projects okay and the next one is the beautiful fancy oval so again nesting down from eight inches across all the way down to one inch in half inch increments and again these all have those fantastic magnetic storage sheets in them too so those are all eight of the designs, okay? We've got all of the basic ones left on the website and we've got a handful of some of the fancy ones left. Unfortunately, we don't have the I Need It All bundle and we don't have the fancy bundle in stock at the moment. Um, again, we have honestly, we've had kind of crisis meetings today at HQ because we have been taken aback at how incredibly popular these dies have been. I, I hoped that they would be because I knew that I wanted to craft with them and I knew that they were i wanted to use but you know you never know but i'm so pleased that everyone's absolutely been loving them so those of you who are asking will the full bundle be available again it will be available but again we don't have a time frame on that because basically you have literally bought every piece of stock that we have that we have available of that um so at the moment we don't have a time frame on that but don't worry if you sign up to our email newsletter as soon as we start to get items back in stock we will be sending emails out um but at the moment we just don't have a time frame for when they will be back in okay then so what we are going to do tonight is i'm going to show you some finished samples i'm going to do a little bit of demonstrating i'm going to show you how to use all these dice as well i'm just trying to read some of your comments on facebook but they're coming in so so fast thank you so much to everyone who's joining me tonight and um, it's going to be an action-packed facebook live tonight um let's see carol got the fancy shapes last night you must have been quick on the on the mark there i can see that pat's saying that is that is the ones I want, but I don't know how to order. Pat, if you hop over at the website, chloescreativecards.co.uk, you can find them all on there and you can click through and order. Or if you prefer, you can give us a ring on Monday on 0191 375 and we'll be able to send them out to you. Okay then. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to show you some finished samples. So you can probably see a few just in the background of me here. 
okay got them all set up around me there we go on the shelves this is where i normally have my wow powers but i've set my cards up today um so what i'm going to do is i'm going to pop a few finished samples on the screen and i'm just going to turn the camera around so i can show you them on the overhead because it's a little bit easier okay so we'll turn this round thank you so much for your comment that and see heather got them all got them all as well got the full bundle as did audrey as did Dorothy. Honestly, you are going to love these when you get them home and you start crafting with them. And I can't wait to see what you all create um, at home with them too. Okay then, so I'm going to pop the camera around. This one here, okay, is a little sneak peek. Okay, this is one of Barbara's fabulous cards. And she's used a beautiful um, oval die set. But look at the mats and layers on here. Okay, this is what's really important about um, these dies. You can see how they nest down in quarter inch increments, which just makes them absolutely perfect for all of your matting and layering projects. But what Barbara's done is she's created a little card blank with this here. Okay, and you can see how it just works absolutely perfectly to create this lovely oval shaped card. And if you are loving these little flowers and the little leaves and the sentiment banner, these are all coming soon along with the beautiful papers that are on this project. Okay, so that's a lovely little project from Barbara. Let me grab this one in. Yeah, I've got sneak peeks galore here. I think we've gone a bit wild with these. Then the next one we've got here is one of Ruth's. And this, I always struggle showing you these, try to do them justice. Um, this is a beautiful easel card, okay? So she's used that lovely fancy, fancy oval design and she's created a lovely easel card blank with it. And I'm going to show you this technique tonight, okay? And she's used our rose mallow flower and I think this is the watercolour washers paper pad she's used on here, which again, that'll be back in stock. We had a little bit of a mix up with the printers, but that should be back in next week okay so again another lovely project but look how beautifully these na dies nest and the last time i looked at the oval there was literally a handful left so if you really want these you need to be hopping over the website and popping them into your basket because we have got literally just a few of these left to go around at the moment we will be reordering but again we don't have a date on that reorder and if you were all waiting for the awesome christmas items that will be coming l much later in july okay we always do christmas in july here at chloe's creative cards we don't tend to launch it in june these dies are going to work incredibly well with the um christmas products okay they're all going to mix and match perfectly so that's that lovely easel card let me grab another few cards in so this is the one that i did so i actually repurposed the stamp along from um i think it was last week so this is the lovely um i've used the plain squares in the background to literally cut all of my mats and layers my guillotine has been sat in the corner redundant since i've had these dies to play with because they are absolutely brilliant so i've used the fancy squares on this one and i've used the plain squares as well and you can see how for building up your mat and layering it makes it so so easy so that's the uh, basic squares and the fancy squares the next one oh, i love this card that becca made so this is using the fancy circle die set and you can see how she's created a card blank okay so she's die cut through our card and remember these dies are engineered to cut through two thick sheets of card as well and then she's matted and layered up um the background here she's even die cut the sentiment out with one of these dies and she's used that beautiful rose mallow in the corner there to really build up this design but it just looks absolutely beautiful but isn't it lovely to be able to create these lovely shaped cards at home and then you've got all your mats and layers done it just makes it so so easy so that's the fancy circle design the next one that i'm going to show you is the fancy oval and this is another one of becca's here so she's created a lovely card blank again using the die and what she's then done is matted and layered up the ovals she's die cut out her sentiment and then she's used the clematis flowers in the corner but doesn't it look so so pretty and again just by changing your colors up using your patterned papers as well these are going to be absolutely perfect okay the next one that i've got to show you oh this is a little sneak peek at stamp along this week so this week this is what we are going to be making i'm going to show you how to create the lovely card blank okay using the dies we're going to be die cutting a frame with the rectangles and we're going to be stamping and embossing as well so that's going to be this week's stamp along project the next one let me just have a little look through honestly i've got so many finished samples i'm going to try and show you loads again this is one of barbara's and i love this card so she's made a little easel card oops 
there we go and this one's using the fancy rectangle and it's such a lovely size and shape the rectangle i think it's just a little bit different so she's created our easel card and then done all of our mats and layers with the dies as well and you can see how well that all works together again these will cut through your mirror card you can even cut them through and um, like your thick acetate as well and um, i did that by popping it through with my metal plate in my gemini so these are really really high quality metal dies okay the next one that we've got is using the lovely fancy oval design so you can see how pretty that then looks and this is the fabulous flower panel that i've used in the middle there and you can see how perfectly that then fits it just mixes and matches perfectly together and then you can be using your little sentiments as well with these it just all works perfectly the next one we've got this is a lovely one from ruth and this is using that lovely fancy sh circle shape which is amazing it's really nice to create a shape card blank i think this one so it's still kind of like a square shape but it just gives you that little bit of difference with it so what ruth's done here is she's used the fancy circles in the background done her mats and layers and then she's used the little squares as well so these are from the basic square designs to do our matting and layering in the background there too the next one that i've got is a one from barbara and barbara's created an easel card here again these flowers and things are all coming very very soon okay so she's created a lovely little easel card here using the basic circles die set but you can see again all of your mats and layers how beautifully this then cuts out it just works so so easy uh, so so easily i can see uh, pat's asking will you be putting the demonstrations and the sample cards on your website to allow us to follow along yes we'll be put, there'll be blog posts going up on the website we'll be using them in this we'll be using these stamps and dies in the um stamp along as well and i'll try and film some um youtube tutorials as well and we'll get those up for you too but of course there will be lots of blog posts going up glynis has already written um lots and lots of her projects up so we'll be getting those popped on the website very very soon okay and then the next one that i've got to show you is let me just grab this one this one is let me just check this is barbara's i should have known it's all pink it would definitely be barbara's this one so you can see how she's used that lovely fancy rectangle design here and then she's used the beautiful clematis flowers but again for your mats and layers just look how beautiful that then looks and it makes it so so easy with all of the die cutting just to die cut out your mats and layers i can see that some of you are asking how much longer will it be till we get the complete collection so these dies have completely taken us aback we did not expect them to sell out last night they all went so so quickly so um we are working on getting them back into stock again just sign up to the email newsletter and i'll be sure to post any updates on facebook when we have dates or anything like that so you can see how beautiful this then looks all matted and layered up and even using the sentiment in the middle you can see how these fit perfectly onto the dies as well and let me grab another one here i'm going to grab them from behind me as well from the shelves so this one this is a real sneak peek this one okay so this is using this might be a new cut and emboss folder are we liking this design okay and what becca's done is she's used the fabulous fancy squares around the edge and she's created a lovely easel card with this one okay so you can see how fabulous that's then going to look but then for your mats and layers as well they just work perfectly okay let me have a little look through i've got all the cards in a box because i ran out of room on um on wednesday when i did the facebook live so again this is one of ruth's and she's used the fancy squares to create a card blank and to do our mats and layers and then she's added a little wreath into the middle and added some of the smaller flowers onto there too which looks really pretty have another look this one's one of mine so what i've done here is i've used the basic squares in the background honestly those basic squares are just you need the mini craft box they are absolutely incredible okay they are going to be perfect for all of your eight by eight cards for doing your matting and layering they just work so so well and it takes all the kind of stress out of cutting your mats and layers down it just makes it so much easier so i've used the eight by eight basic squares in the background then i've used a fancy square a basic square and then i've created a little frame with the fancy circle as well so you can see how these are all going to mix and match and work perfectly together let me just grab in i've got one here this one was made with the fancy oval so you see that creates a lovely shaped easel card the fancy oval it just works so so well and see christine's asking will there be a video of how to make 
a card blank please christine stay tuned because i'm going to show you how to do that in a few minutes so you can see how beautifully that all works together and if you're liking these colors as well these are in a new paper pad that will be coming out very soon and then let me grab a couple from behind me because there are some beautiful cards behind me so becca's made a shaker card here so she's die cut out the oval aperture and then she's popped some sequins in the middle to make a shaker card so you can see how well that works and then she's used the eight the basic square dies to do our matting and layering in the background this one's a one of Barbara's and you can see I'm going to make a project kind of based on this one um, as a little bit of a demonstration in, the mo in a moment. So she's used the basic squares in the background to get our mats and layers perfect. She's then used the beautiful ovals to create a frame and she's added in some of the rose mallow flowers as well. Okay, and then let me grab this one in because this one's a little bit different. So this is the one that I made. Okay, and what I've done is I've created like a really hard to show you're on the camera there you see how i've got acetate in here so what i did is i die cut out my card blank and then i die cut out a frame and i've sandwiched a piece of acetate in the middle to like create a window card just for something a little bit different and um, but you can see how well that works as well and using the beautiful flowers and our happy birthday die to embellish there too and then let me grab another couple in so this is another one of barbara's here and she's used all of the basic squares on this one so you can see how for creating frames these are going to be incredible obviously for doing your mats and layers they are absolutely awesome but you can just see how well it all works together and then using that little oval frame in the middle there to pop your sentiment on it just works so so well so that's that one and then we've got this one here this is a one i think this is barbara's again this is a sneak peek at some of the new flowers and papers that will be coming soon but you can see how she's used those basic squares in the background and then she's used a beautiful oval in the middle to create an aperture and she's made a frame with the dies too so these are really versatile you're going to be able to use these on all of your projects they really are going to be a staple in your craft box I can just see deb is asking am i right in thinking that with the new dies you can create cards from eight by eight down in size yes that's correct so your largest die is eight inches square on the square designs obviously on your ovals and your rectangles eight inches is the longest side so if you go for the fancy ones they go down in half inch increments if you go for the basic ones they go down in quarter inch increments okay so you see how beautiful that one looks and then we've got this one here which is a one of, um, this is one of Barbara's actually, and she's used the fabulous fancy squares on here, and, which she's matted and layered this up, used the beautiful um, rose mallow flower as well. But you can see by creating these lovely card blank, they just work so, so well for creating a slightly different shape on your projects. Um, I can see Pat's asking when will the fancy square dies be back in stock we don't have a date at the moment Pat like I said earlier if you sign up to the email newsletter or if you keep an eye on the page as soon as we have any updates we will be posting we honestly did not expect these dies to sell out so quickly I absolutely love them and have loved working with them um, and I'm just so pleased that so so many of you at, at home as well are absolutely loving them Um. Sue's just bought all the dies and they'll be perfect for gutting your cards. Yes, they definitely will be. I'm going to show you that as well as one of my demonstration. Uh, see, April's just asking when will they be back in stock. Um, as soon as we have an update, again, we'll be posting it. I can see lots of you are asking about when the new release dates will be for these gorgeous flowers and the cutting emboss folders and the papers as well. Again, sign up to the email newsletter on the website. We don't have a date at the moment. Christmas will definitely be the end of July okay and um, but sign up to the email newsletter and as soon as we have any updates you will get an email okay so i'm just going to pop my finished samples back in on the screen for you to have a look at and i'm going to just pop all of these cards back on the shelves and then i'm going to do a little bit of demonstrate and i'm going to show you what you can make with them because there are honestly so so many finished projects that you can be making with these fabulous dies okay so hopefully i've given you a little bit of inspiration there again over the coming days they will all be going up on the facebook page so please don't worry if you think you've missed one or anything like that they will all be going up on the page okay then so let me just pop the camera in so you can see what I'm doing. Thank you so much for all of your lovely comments as well. Um, I keep glancing up and having a little look at the screen. Okay then. So we're going to make an easel card to start with. So what I've done 
in preparation okay because i wanted to try and show you lots of different things is i've already made up all of my little flowers and things because tonight is all about the dyes okay absolutely all about the dyes so what we're going to do is we're going to create a fabulous easel card so to start with let me just move all of my bits of paper out the way as you can see i've got all of the the dyes kind of separated out here um uh, can you let me just have a little read through of the comments so i can see julie's asking do you have a date when your shop will be reopening we don't have a date at the moment i'm afraid for when the shop will be reopening again we are kind of all working socially distanced at the moment so please do just keep an eye um, on the website and on the page as soon as we have an update we will let you know okay then so what we're going to do is we're going to create a fabulous easel card using these beautiful rectangle dies so what i'm going to do to start with is i'm going to take my gemini plate so i'm going to use my clear base plate then i'm going to use my plastic shim okay and then i'm going to pop my die on my card so this is a craft uk 300 gsm card blank okay and we're going to cut through both sides so the card blank size that i'm actually using if i turn it around this way you might be able to see a little bit better is 10 inches by 7 inches okay to cut this down and that just works perfectly you don't tend to waste as much card then and it's a little bit easier so what i'm going to do is i'm going to turn this round and i'm going to run this through my gemini so i'm going to put my clear cutting plate on the top and then we're going to run this through okay so in one pass throw a die cut machine this die is going to cut through two thick pieces of card okay so you can just hopefully you can hear it working in the background i know it's a little bit boring for you looking at my craft mat but <laughs> my gemini is all set up behind me in my craft room so when we take this away okay you can see how this has then cut that beautiful card blank straight away but so so easy okay to do so what i've done is i've lined it up so it's slightly over the top here so then it gives you that you've got like the um the fold in your card blank okay what i'm going to do now is to create the little topper for my easel i'm going to put another one of this shape i'm going to run it through with some just plain white card okay and that's going to create the the top part of our easel if that makes sense okay so we're just running that through the machine all right see heather's ordered the big bundle it would be fab if you could bring out some heart ties yes awesome idea there okay so i'm going to take this away and then what we're going to do is we're going to just start and mat and layer this up now again all of our dies come on these fabulous magnetic storage sheets and these are a really strong magnet as well okay they're not going to be falling off here they are absolutely fabulous so i'm going to pop my die back onto there which is what i always do when i'm working with these so i always keep my little magnetic sheet next to me and i just keep popping my dies back on as and when i'm using them so what i'm going to do now is i'm going to create my easel card so i'm going to take my card blank back in and i'm going to fold this bit back on itself so like going to fold it in half now you could do this with a scoreboard but you know gonna just run along there and then if we grabbed a bone folder which we did have somewhere i was all prepared here we go just run that along there like so so you can see how that's then created the easel part for our easel card okay so what we're then going to do is glue our second shape onto the front here so i'm just going to use a little bit of kalal all-purpose glue i'm going to stick this onto here like so okay and there we go so you can see how perfectly that's going to create our lovely easel so i'm going to pop that to one side and then what i've done is i've taken one of our beautiful this is our watercolor washes paper pad and this will be back in stock very very soon okay it should be back in stock next week it was meant to come in last week but we had a little bit of a mix up with the printers so what i've done is i've taken the next size down of the lovely fancy rectangle okay and then we're going to run that through our die cut machine but what i've done is i've put a smaller one in the middle so that it, we're going to like gut the center out because we're not really wanting to waste this bit of paper in the middle so this will make sense when i start to do my matting and layering so what i'm going to do now is pop this on the top 
and then run this through my Gemini again. So I'm using my clear base plate, my plastic shim, my dies cut side up, and then I've got my um, cutting plate on the top. Okay, we're gonna run that through the Gemini. Okay, so basically what I've done is I've got all my mats and layers pre-prepared earlier. Been all, I've been on it today. So I've got them all stuck onto the bits of paper and cards so I'm show you exactly how to use these perfectly. Okay, so what I've then done is I'm going to take this away. Like so. So if we just remove our removable tape off of here. I feel like this camera could do being a little bit higher up two seconds. I'm going to see if I can move you a little bit. There we go. Is that a little bit better? It's a bit skew with now, isn't it? There we go. Okay. So what I'm going to do is just remove this from the middle. So you will see how we've gutted out the middle of that lovely pattern paper. So we're going to use this little bit on our project too. It's going to go over there. I'm going to pop that over there. Okay, again, I'm putting my dies back onto my magnetic sheet so I know exactly where they all are and I know that they're all stored safely. What I've then done is I've taken a piece of white card and to this I've taped one of the lovely plain rectangles because the fancies and planes all work perfectly together and then we've got the um, the fancy, a smaller fancy rectangle as well on there. Okay, so what I'm going to do is run that through my Gemini again and see a couple of you are asking how to store the dies. So what I tend to do is I keep them in the packets, okay, so like this, they come in our lovely matte foiled packets. Honestly, these are so lovely. They've got the gold foiling on as well. And when you turn it over, it's got a little strip on the back that's stuck on with double sided tape. I tend to just peel that off carefully and then cut the top off. Then you just drop your die back in the top there on your magnetic sheet and it keeps it nice and flat. Plus you've got the acetate window so you can see which dies are in there. Okay, so I'm going to run this through my machine. The mat I'm working on is just a stamping mat. Again, keep your eyes peeled. We have got some awesome things coming very soon. You're going to get me in so much trouble on this Facebook Live. Keep asking me questions, I keep telling you all what's coming. <laughs> so, running this through the machine, okay, and then we're going to lift this off. And then when we take our tape away, you can see we have got this perfectly die cut rectangle. Okay, so that's that one. So that's using your basic rectangles, which are incredible. Oh, Bev, that's that's a very that's a very good suggestion, that one, Bev, I have to say. Pink stamping mat. Just keep your eyes peeled. Okay. And then we've got our lovely fancy rectangle as well. So I'm gonna pop those to one side and then we're gonna do a little bit more die cutting. I know it's a little bit boring watching me do all this die cutting, but honestly, I just want to show you exactly what you can do with these dies. So the next layer that we've got is going to be, let me just grab this. Okay, a lovely, this is again from the watercolour washers paper pad. So it's a lovely, um, like a lavendery kind of purple paper. Okay, I'm not, I'm not revealing any secrets about the Christmas collection. I'm, keep, I'm keeping my lips sealed on that one because I am so excited for that collection to launch. But honestly, these nesting dies are going to work perfectly with it. So I'm going to run this through my die cut machine, okay? So this is just cutting one of the basic rectangle dies. Okay, and then what I've also got is I've stamped one of our lovely little happy birthday sentiments. Just onto some white card, I've stamped it in a clear embossing pad and emboss it in metallic silver super fine from WOW. Okay, and then we're going to take the tape off here. Okay. There. Then we're going to run this through the machine. So I basically took one of the little fancy rectangles that lined up round the sentiment and I'm going to run that one through as well. So we've got our lovely basic rectangle there. But you can see what I've done is I've really utilised the papers. So what I've tried to do is where we're going to be hiding it, I've kind of put an extra little mat out from underneath. Okay. So, what we're going to do now, I'm going to pop those to one side. You can see there's a few questions about the payment on the website. Again, all of the details are on there. So if you just hop over to the website, chloescreativecards.co.uk, um, you'll be able to find out all of that information on there. So what I'm going to do now is just remove the tape from my backing card here. Like so. 
and then that's going to go back onto my magnetic storage sheet so you can see just look at how many dies you were getting for your money there is so so much metal on these sheets they are honestly incredible when you get these home and feel the weight in the packet it's going to be amazing okay so what i'm going to do is pop my um plates just out to one side for now and we're going to start a matte and layer up our card again what i'll do is i'll give away this card at the end of the facebook live so please do get leaving your comments on the page and we'll pick some winners out at the end okay so what i'm going to do now is i'm going to take some crystallina glitter so this is the one that i use all the time for edging around my mats and layers and if you loved can you remember when we did princess and radiant last year and unfortunately the film was discontinued that made that glitter but basically we've got an awesome um alternative so be sure to keep your eyes peeled on the website for that one too and obviously on the page because we'll be posting updates about that too so what i'm going to do is i'm going to take my chisel tip glue pen and i'm just going to start to edge around the shapes now with these fancy shapes if you just hold your pen at like a 45 degree angle okay and drag it towards you you'll find that you'll get a really nice you'll just be able to follow the shape follow the design okay it makes it so so easy so we're going to pop that onto there and we're going to run this round like so i absolutely love this die as well and um, it's so so pretty this is based on one of glynis's projects actually that i'm making here um, and honestly it just looks so pretty when it's all done so what we're going to do is just cover this with a little bit of our crystallina glitter again so i'm just taking that chisel tip glue pen and dragging it towards me okay like so see how well this works oops how well this works if you run off as well you can always just knock it back with your finger a little bit as well with the glue then when you dunk it in your glitter just be a little bit careful then it won't catch where that glue is i'm going to do the same on my white layer so just by dragging that glue pen towards me it makes it so much easier okay I'm going to show you how these all matte and layer beautifully together in a moment. So you can see how there's a little bit of um, where my low tack tape's been. You can just see where my glitter's clinging a little bit. You get that, you can just take a, a paintbrush. This actually works really well. So basically this paintbrush, as we all do, okay, I left PVA glue on it to dry, okay? <laughs> and it's gone really hard, but actually that works really well for this. So what you can do is, where you've got your removable tape and your glitter's sticking, you take your paintbrush like that, can you see how it kind of rubs it off? Just because it's a little bit, um, it's like a firmer brush. Works really, really well. You can just go in and buffer it away okay so or if you maybe have like gone off track a little bit it works so so well so we're going to wear it around and see a couple of you are asking when crystallina will be back in stock that should be back in in july time and um, again things are just taking a little bit longer at the moment with the current um situation and things but that should be back in in july so i'm just working my way around with my chisel tip glue pen Okay, that's on one of the fancy rectangles and of course you could be making this on any size as well so you've got all those different sizes of the dies so it just works perfectly okay so what we're going to do now is we're going to start and um matte and layer up our card blank so we've got our easel card base here okay so what we're going to do is we're going to stick our patterned piece down flat okay so just use a little bit of glue to do this so i'm just using a little bit of kalal today okay it's gonna get stuck onto here okay so stick that down onto our card block but just look how perfect that border is and how even those mats and layers are what and, and you notice as well i haven't just left a hole out the middle we're going to pop another layer on top so all of your beautiful patterned papers you are now going to be able to save by cutting out the centers because these dies make it so so easy to do that so i've got my white piece that i've cut and i've got my light purple piece so i'm going to pop a little bit of glue onto the back of there i'm going to stick those two down flat like so then i'm going to put some foam pads onto the back of here to stick it onto my cards so let me just grab those so just pop a few foam pads across the back of my card here 
of here and then we're going to take the backs off of here like so it's going to go down there but you can see how lovely these shapes all work together so you can see how the fancy rectangle works with the basic rectangle it just all works just in absolute harmony really so what we're going to do now is pop that lovely fancy rectangle on some foam pads in the middle it's going to go on to there like so so you can just see how this is all starting to come together and of course if you do want any of these dies there are literally a handful left so please do hop over to the website chloe'screativecards.co.uk and you'll be able to see what's still available on there so i'm going to pop that one in the middle and stuck that on very straight have I? just stick that back down again there we go that's better okay so you can see how lovely that then looks so that's creating our easel card but what i want to do is i want to create like a pattern to go on the bottom here so what i'm going to do is i'm going to take i'm going to get rid of my foam pads here well the back ends okay and i'm going to take another piece of that lovely watercolor washers paper pad it is absolutely stunning and i'm going to take the second size in from the rectangle dies but I've got loads of removable tape all cut down now. I'm going to tape that into place and run it through my Gemini. Okay, so we're going to quickly run this through again. Pop that down there. And we'll run that through. And what I think I'll do as well is I'm going to use a piece of white card and then the next size down in the fancy rectangle, I'm going to put one of those out as well. It's just the dice going through my machine. If the crack, it's just the cut going into your plate. Okay, so I'm going to take this out. Okay, and then we're going to take the tape away from here. I can see a lot of you are asking about the stock and things on the website. The best thing to do, I do try my best to know when things are coming <laughs> coming in, but the best thing to do is to hop over the website and where it says notify me when back in stock, if you pop your email address into there, you will get an email as soon as any products come back into stock okay so that's that piece cut and then i'm going to cut a smaller one just out of the some white card okay so i've just taken the next size down and we'll run that through the machine again so the removable tape that i'm using is just the scotch removable okay but you could be using um masking tape i'll tell you what else is really good as well i use um post-it notes sometimes which sounds really really random but it does work really well okay to um to tape your dies in place okay so then you can see how that's then going to create our lovely easel card there so what i'm going to do now is i'm going to grab back in my bit of card and we'll do a little bit more glittering around the edge okay so again we're going to use our chisel tip glue pen and we're just going to go in and run along each edge and then i've got some flowers that i've already made so i'll talk you through how i did those that we're going to build up onto the front panel okay so a little bit of glue onto here all the way around the edge like so and then we'll do a just on this one you can never have too much glitter can you really on a project i always think so we'll just glitter all the edges then it'll look really pretty okay i don't think the light's very good in, in here today it's very very dark up here in um in durham so i think it's probably not doing the glitter justice it's definitely more sparkly in real life so we can just wear it around dunking that into our glitter pop the lid back on there okay and then we're going to stick these all together i would like to find the lid for my glue pen there it is okay so what we're going to do is we're going to pop that that way okay and then we're going to stick our piece of purple paper into here this is just going to get stuck onto the base of our easel card like this okay that's a very good idea about the fancy sir the fancy rectangles making a booth glynis has actually done that on a project which looks fabulous and um, that's the one that's going up on the blog on monday so then we're gonna pop a little bit of glue on the back of here so this is just the white layer okay now obviously what we need now you can see how that's coming together like so 
a little bit hard to show you on this camera, the nasal card. I should have thought about this, shouldn't I? What we then need is a little stopper. So we're going to add a little piece of purple. I've got my little purple fancy rectangle that we cut out earlier and my sentiment. So that's going to act as our stopper on the easel. Okay. And then I'm going to add some foam pads just onto the back of here. So pop a couple onto this one. So, I'll go down there, and I'll just put a couple onto the back of there, and then this will just go, just get that all nicely lined up, and go onto there. So you can see how that's creating the stopper for the easel, and that's then holding it all up like this, okay? So what we're then going to do is we're going to start to decorate that front panel. So again, this is a Glynis inspired project and Glynis, I can see you watching. <laughs> um, so this is the project that will be going up on the blog on Monday. So you can see how Glynis has created a lovely book using the new, um, the fancy rectangle die and she's made it into an easel card. So I kind of took a little bit of inspiration from this and thought I'll do it similar but different okay so i'm going to pop this over to one side while i finish this one off to show you so i'm going to place that down and then i've made up some of our lovely rose mallow flowers so to do that all i've done is i've stamped it four times onto um some of our watercolor washers paper okay i embossed it in diamond white then i've just twisted the petals with my tweezers then what i've done is glued them all together and added a little bit of glue around the edge and then covered that in our bubble black bubble bath sparklicious glitter so i'm going to position those down onto here like so so a little bit of glue onto there and a little bit of glue onto there Okay, and then I've created, I've used our spring foliage stamps and I've stamped and embossed them onto some heat resistant acetate and then um, I've turned them over and covered them with some dry clear PVA and popped some grasshopper glitter on. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to trim these the edges up here and just start to tuck these in behind the flowers. Okay, so it's a very purple looking card today I think that we're, we're going for, isn't it? So we can just start to build a little bit of foliage into here like so. Add a few little pieces in. And what I tend to do with my foliage is I like to make like a little batch and then you can just start to add it into your project. So I just have a little um, like a little Tupperware box that's all ready to go with it already in. Okay. Then what I've also done is I've taken our summer blooms dye. And I've die cut some of these out from the watercolour washers paper pad again. So you can see how these ones like lift up partially. Okay, so I've left some like this lifting up and then I've taken some and trapped the centres out. So it's just the little outlines. Okay, and we're going to pop some of these in the background as well. So a little tiny blob of glue gel. Just onto these. And then you can just see how these then all start to, oops, to build up like so okay so you can see how pretty that then starts to look okay so what I'm then going to do is I'm going to add a little flower just onto the bottom there of my easel okay and I pop that there i'm going to put a little leaf just behind so there's a couple of questions coming in about posting this card so i'd probably make a box and then either send the box in a um in a little jiffy bag or something like that and they tend to arrive all right to be honest i've sent quite a few out in the post i'm gonna put a little bit of glue just onto here like so but you can see how that has then all come together really really pretty so that's using the new frame dies what i think i might do is i might just turn it around so you can see it on the other camera just give me two seconds i'm just getting rid of some bits of acetate there that i've got on my mat okay so if i turn that around if we go this way okay and if i move the camera out of the way there we go you can hopefully see 
how that has then created our fabulous easel card okay so that's our first project that i've made tonight so actually using the fancy rectangles and the basic rectangles as well what i would probably go in and do too is let me see if i can just grab some let me pop some card samples in while i go for a route so what i would be doing is i would be adding in some little self-adhesive jewels onto these as well so i would go in Turn the camera back around to show you here. So what I would do is go in with my little self-adhesive jewels like I've got here. Okay. And then I want a porky tool. And you can just go in and just add tend to just like fill the white space. So like I've done with the little flowers. If I'd had a little bit more time, what I probably would have done is like done a little bit of stamping in the background, maybe with some foliage or with some swirls. But, um, if I'd used the Summer Bloom stamps, I'd maybe use some of the smaller ones from the set. But can you see how you can just go in? And I just tend to use a few different sizes of the jewels. And just add these in behind the flowers and the foliage. Oops. Like so, so if I add a couple more in up here. And it just blings your card up a little bit. And what I would probably do as well... So there are three jewels down the side here. Okay, so the small flowers are literally, it's just a die from the Summer Elements, a Summer Blooms Elements die set. Okay, which we've got on the website. So if you hop over and have a look, if you type in Summer Blooms, um, it'll come up and it's the Elements die set that I've used to do the smaller flowers. But you can see how pretty that then looks and that would then be our finished card. We had a few jewels here as well, you know, just because we can. We might as well pop a few extra little blings on there, okay? So, that is our first card that we have made tonight. So, hopefully you like that one. So, that's a lovely easel card, and that's using the fancy rectangle dies, along with the basic rectangle dies. So, you can see how perfectly these all work together. And I've also used the Rose Mallow Flower Stamp on there, and the Summer Blooms Elements die, okay? So, I'm going to pop that project to one side. Um, I'm going to pop this over here. I'm going to get rid of those. Right, we're going to do another project now, okay? I'm going to pop those little finished samples in just for you to have a little look at while I just get ready, okay? But I'm going to show you how awesome the basic dies are for your matting and layering, okay? So, just get myself a little bit more organised here. Just give me a couple of minutes, everyone. Okay, hopefully you're enjoying tonight's live. I can see that lots and lots of you are leaving me some fabulous comments. So thank you all so, so much. Okay, I'm just making sure I haven't lost any dyes or accidentally thrown them in the bin because I really do not want to be doing that. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to pop that onto there. Okay, that's going to go over there. Right, let me just move these little flowers out of the way. Oh, I've used a Summer Blooms element on the next project as well, actually. Okay, then. So, let me turn the camera back round, because at the minute it's looking at the floor. It's not as good a view as what this will be, <laughs> making the project. Okay, then. So, we are going to be creating another project. So, for this one, literally, I'm just going to use the basic dies. So, I'm going to be using the basic ovals, and I'm also going to be using the basic squares as well. And we're going to create a lovely project um, just using a few of the flower stamps. So I've got my 8x8 card blank. So this is from Craft UK, okay? And what I've done is I've taken the basic square dies, okay? And I've taken the size that I'm using. Just grabbing my base there. Sorry, I'm a bit confused here. Right, so the size that I'm using first is the second size in, okay? So you've got like your largest dies. Then you've got... Um, the neck like the next one in so they're in layers okay so this one in, in effect is your seven and three quarter inches square what i've then done is i've taken two of the nesting oval dies and i've placed those into the middle and hopefully i've taped these in place and they haven't moved too much to create a lovely frame so what we're going to do now is run that through our machine so again we are going to be using our clear base plate our plastic shim and then our clear cutting plate on the top. So that's the plate combination that works for my Gemini. Okay. 
going to run that through. I find put the magnetic shim in just puts a little bit too much pressure on them. So I tend to just leave it out because these dies cut really, really well. Leslie, that is an awesome idea. Can I suggest that when you're using these wonderful new dies, you start numbering with, with one being the biggest size so that we get to know what size we're using. Yes, I was thinking about that the other night, actually. And I was thinking we need to know like a, a way for when we're doing the stamp alongs and things. So yes, we'll do that. So if we say the largest one is number one, okay, working down to the smaller one, okay? So we're going to just take these away from our card here. So I've got a mirror card background that we're going to stick onto our card blank, okay? And that's going to go flat onto our card. Then we've got a lovely oval frame that I've cut out and I've got another oval that's going to go on another project, okay? What I've then done is I've done the same with a piece of white card, okay? So I've taken the next size down in the squares, okay? And then what I've done, see how see how good I'm being? I'm not wasting anything with these, okay? So I've taken one of the squares. I'm just making sure I get this all positioned correctly because if you don't get it positioned right, it'll all go pear-shaped and we don't want that, <laughs> okay? Because we'll end up with mats and layers that have got little, bit, little holes out of them and we really do not want that. So what I'm going to do is position my square around the edge, okay? So that's my next size down. I've taken the next size down in each of the ovals to create like a thinner oval frame. I've put that in the middle of the card because again, we're just gutting it as we go. Then we'll run that through the machine. All right, and see Violet's loving that mirror card. This is actually, this is from the Christmas Sparkle mirror card collection that we've got on the website. But honestly, the colours aren't that Christmassy, so you can use them on your hand that way. So we're going to run this through our die cutting machine. Okay, and then I'm going to grab that out of the other side. And then we're just going to take away, see if we can lift this, lift this tape away. There we go. Okay. I've got so many bits of removable tape now, I'm just sticking them all on the corner of my desk. I'll use those again later. <laughs> so we've got our lovely white frame from our oval, perfectly die cut. And then we've got our lovely white matte and layer. So you can see how that's then going to mat on top of the mirror card here. Okay, so this is all going to start to come together. Get rid of that. Get rid of the tape. Okay, and then we're going to go. We've got a lovely piece of this fabulous um, watercolor washers paper. Okay, so I've taken the tealy one. I've cut the next size down of the square and put a little oval in the middle. And then we're going to run that through. Honestly, I'm like going gutting crazy here as I'm gutting all of my paper and card. I'm not wasting a thing. So I'm going to pop that in. And I'm going to run that through my Gemini. Okay. So again, we're just waiting for that to run through the die cutting machine. Okay. So this is all going through. So I am using my clear plastic plate, my plastic shim. Then my die cut side up with my cutting plate on the top. I leave out the magnetic shim on my Gemini personally because I think sometimes it's a little bit too much and it can kind of twist your paper a little bit. Right, so what I'm going to do now is remove my dies and see how all of our little mats and layers are coming together. Okay, that's going to go on, no, that's going to go on this project, sorry. I'm going to keep hold of that one. Right, and then what I've then done, okay, we're getting there is I've taken a slightly larger oval so basically this oval is going to sit inside of that magnetic uh, of the mirror card frame okay so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to die cut this oval out and then I'm going to run that through with an embossing folder as well so we'll run that through our die cut machine honestly this makes it so so easy by doing all of your gutting and if you're kind of pre-planning out your project you can save so much waste paper and card, but normally you'd probably end up popping in the bin. So we're going to take this piece, okay, we're going to remove our tape from there, like so. I'm going to pop my die over there. Then I've got our lovely, this is the Fancy Floral Garden embossing folder, okay, and we're going to pop this into here. I'm going to go into our embossing folder. I'm going to run that through, I'm going to, oh, I nearly put the wrong plates in there. I'm going to take that one out, so I'm just using my two clear cutting plates. I can see lots of you are asking, how do I make these so quickly? I've had it all pre-planned, pre so don't worry, I'm not normally this quick. Okay, so we're going to run that through the machine. 
And the thing is with these dies, it just makes cracking that little bit easier, doesn't it? So what that then means is you can spend a little bit more time doing the bits that you love. So it might be that you love to create your beautiful backgrounds. It might be that you love to create your paper flowers. It just means that you're going to be able to spend a little bit more time doing that and not have to worry so much about the matting and layering. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to stick my mirror card onto my base card. So I always work with my fold at the top of my card there. Okay. So I'm going to stick this mirror card layer down. So to do that, I'm going to use a little bit of my Kalal. And again, I like to use a wet glue when I'm doing my mats and layers. Just because it then means that you can um, you can start to, if, if you don't get them down quite straight, you can just move them about a little bit. So I'm going to stick this one onto here, like so. Okay. So you can see how that fits perfectly onto my card blank as well. Okay. So you see we've got a really nice matte layer there. Then I'm going to take our white one, but before I stick that one down, I'm going to take that one and I'm going to take my patterned one. I'm going to do me a little bit of edging with a chisel tip glue pen. Okay. So I'm going to grab this, this is my scrap paper, it looks very scrappy now, I'm going to take my chisel tip glue pen, I'm going to take my crystallina glitter again, okay, and I'm going to drag along the edge of the card, dunk that into my glitter, so you can see how this is going to just work perfectly to create that little glittery border, okay, so we're going to work our way around. This under here. And I'm going to take my paintbrush again and just buff away where my removable tape was. And I'm going to go in with my patterned paper again. This is that lovely watercolour washers. Again, if you've missed out on any of these, they are honestly incredible. They will be back on the website hopefully this week. I'm still obsessed with them. I'm loving them. I think even this one, you know, would be nice if you're doing your Christmas cards with snowflakes and things. It would work so, so well. Okay, so what we're then going to do, I'm going to pop the lid onto my glitter so I don't knock that over. So we're going to continue matting and layering our layers up. So I'm going to stick... I might stick these all flat actually. I'm going to stick them all flat. So I'm going to take my white layer, I'm going to pop a little bit of um, glue on the back. Oops. Like so. I've got it on my fingers. There we go. Alison's asking, how do you remove glue and finger marks off mirror card? To be honest with you, Alison, I don't. I just I leave them because they're just little borders around the edge, so I don't tend to worry too much about them. Okay, so I'm going to stick that into the middle there. And you can see, look at how perfect the mats and layers are around the edge, okay? Absolute perfection every single time, but they work perfectly, okay? Then I'm going to add that lovely um, piece of patterned paper as well onto the top. So I'm going to just stick that one down flat, okay? Like so. Okay, and then I'm going to stick my oval into the middle like this so this is that lovely one that i've embossed so what i'm going to do i'm going to stick that one on flat just wondering actually i'm going to just with it being embossed it's like a little bit crinkly so i'm going to use a little bit of double-sided tape just to stick that into place okay lots of you are asking about the christmas collection i'm not giving you any sneak peeks i'm not going to tell you what it is yet but it will be coming out at the end of july okay we always do Christmas in July here at Chloe's Creative Cards. We don't tend to launch Christmas products in June, um, so it'll be the end of July. And I've just done a really good job there of um, pulling both the double-sided tape and the backing off the card at once. So hopefully this tape will stick. Honestly, I hardly use double-sided tape anymore, so it's probably been in my drawer for like three years or something. It's probably lost us lost its stick. I apologise to whoever wins this card. <laughs> you might have to do a little bit DIY when you get it home. <laughs> We're going to get the back off there. Right, okay. There we go. That is perfect. 
So I'm going to pop that down just a little bit off centre on my card there. Okay. Then we're going to pop our frames into place. Okay. So I'm going to mat and layer these together like so. Now hopefully if these dies hadn't moved, they have fractionally. That's all right. We can pop it that way. So when you're doing your frames, you need to be careful that you get the dies in exactly the same place, especially with the ovals. So you can see this border's slightly out a little bit at the bottom, but it's just because my dies moved, okay, when I've, when I've taped it down and everything. So I'm going to stick this onto my card like so. So I'm going to stick this one on flat. So use a little bit of just PVA to do this with sticking onto my mirror card. Right around the edge. Like so. There we go. We'll put some foam pads onto the back of there. Okay. So let me grab some foam pads. I'm going to cut these in half as well because what you'll find is um, the our foam pads are a little bit too big for the to get around the edge of the frames. So I'm going to pop just a little bit round each edge, like so. Just popping my foam down. So you can see how that then works. So we've built up our little frame. So I'm going to take the backs off of here. Gonna go off the card like so, okay. And I've got a little flag. I'm gonna stick that just a little bit across the side there. So I'm gonna grab a couple of foam pads just to stick this into place. Like so. And then I've got these lovely flowers. So these were made using the Summer Blooms clear stamps. So what I've done is I've stamped each flower three times. So I've done the dotty one. And I stamped it onto our aquamarine pearl paper. And I embossed it in opaque bright white super fine embossing powder. Did that three times and I've cut them out. I pinched the petals down the middle and then I've just layered them together. I've done exactly the same with the stripy flower okay but what i've done is i've added a little bit of sky's the limit glitter onto this one just to give it a little bit of sparkle so i'm going to put that one in the middle actually i'm going to arrange that move that along a little bit there okay so i'm going to put that one in the middle i'm going to arrange these other ones around it i'm going to have to pull it out a little bit further here there we go okay hopefully that's in the right place now so what we're going to do is arrange my little flowers just around that flag and then again, I've made some of those little flowers using the Summer Blooms Elements die set. Okay, and then we're going to add this in. So we're going to put these under here. Like so. And these were die cut out of the watercolour washers paper. Okay. And then I've got my sentiment and I'm going to pop that on. I've got my little mat that we did earlier as well. So that's going to go on there. So we could have just finished building this card up now. I've got a couple of leaves left as well, so we might as well stick a bit of foliage on there too. So what I'm going to do is use my chisel tip glue pen. I'm going to go around the edge of my oval. Like so. And cover that in my crystallina glitter. Pack away the excess. It's going to go on to there. Just grabbing a couple of foam pads just to go onto the back of here, like so. Just gonna go onto there. Grab another couple of foam pads to go onto there. Okay. It's gonna go down onto our card. Right, and then do you know what? I don't feel like I've got that very straight in the middle there. I think it's been a long day, I think. Uh, there we go, let me just see if we can straighten that up a little bit. There we go, that's a little bit better. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take my 3D glue gel 
just to stick my flowers down. So again, this is made using the Summer Blooms stamp set used here. Okay, and I've used my little Summer Blooms Elements dies to create some smaller flowers, just to kind of dot about a little bit in the background, like so. So you can really see all this starts to build up. And then I've got a couple of um, leaves that I had left over from the other project. So we've got them. We might as well be sticking them in. So I'm going to put one down there. One over here. Like so. Just wondering we've got a third one. Should I put the third leaf in? Let's go for it, eh? So I'm going to add a leaf into here as well. I'd like that to kick out a little bit more there. And then I wonder if we add a little flower into there, maybe. See, I'll really go to town now. You'll just find me sat here all night arranging this, arranging these flowers on here. <laughs> and then we'll add another little flower into there, I think. And then that'll just, actually, that'll be quite nice because that'll just hide the, um, the corner of that little flag thing. There we go. Okay, so you can see how that's all come together really, really pretty. Okay, let me just get rid of these foam pad backs from here. And then, let me pop that over there. Just put my scissors away. A lid on there. And I'm going to grab in some self adhesive jewels. So, again, I'm just going to add these into the corners. Like so. Okay, so I'm just going to work around adding these in. Just going to go with these two outer corners, I think, to pop them on. Okay, and then I'm also going to add in a little jewel just into the middle of some of these flowers that are on the embossing folder because I just think that's a nice little kind of finishing touch, isn't it, for your projects just to kind of add that in okay and that would then be your lovely finished card so that one was just made using the basic squares and the basic rectangles but you can see how these dies are sized perfectly to work on your eight by eight projects so i'm going to grab in the other card that we just made tonight and let's pick out some winners um, to give these away so we've got two cards to give away we've got this lovely turquoise blue one that i've just made okay using the basic oval and the basic square and then we've got this lovely easel card that we made just previously um, and this one's using the fancy rectangles and the basic rectangles okay so let me just have a little look through the comments okay give me two minutes let me have a little look through i'm not gonna look i'm gonna go for this one so the winner of let's go for the blue card first so the winner of the blue card is linda skirth who said awesome card so thank you linda this one's yours if you can email info at chloe's creative cards.co.uk we'll arrange for that card to be sent out to you let me just have another little scroll I'm gonna look away again the winner of this one is jackie and neil evans okay and you are the winner of the um, purple card. So congratulations, congratulations, Jackie and Neil. And your comment said, I think I need to make more flowers ready for when my dies come. I definitely think you do because you are going to absolutely love crafting and creating with these. So thank you all so, so much for your comments. I really hope that you have enjoyed tonight's Facebook Live. So if you haven't done so already, hop over to the website, chloescreativecards.co.uk. You just grab these in to show you where we've still oh, just hit my head off the camera there as you do where we've still got a handful of these fabulous dies left so we do have all of the basic ones in stock which are incredible and they're going to make your card making so much easier so we've got the basic squares which if you make eight by eight cards you just need to go and get it in your craft box because it's going to make life so much easier we've then got the beautiful rectangles which are eight by six and three quarter inches for the largest one We've then got the basic circles, which are incredible, and we've got the basic ovals as well. So your basic dies all contain, um, the ovals and the rectangles contain 24 metal dies each, 
okay and again they all come on this fantastic magnetic storage sheet so it's going to make storing them an absolute breeze your squares and your circles contain 29 metal dies each which is incredible the value that you are getting with these dies is insane so they're 24.99 a set or we do have a bundle on the website with the basic dies where if you buy all four you save 20 percent okay we then have the fancy dies okay so the first one is the fancy circle last time i looked there is literally a handful of these left so within the fancy circle set you are getting 15 metal dies ranging from eight inches down to one inch in size they're going down in quarter inch increments uh, half inch increments sorry for the fancy ones the basic ones are all quarter inch the next one we've got is the fabulous rectangle which again is eight inches by six and three quarter inches in size going down in half inch increments and you were getting 15 metal dies in there again these all come with that fabulous magnetic storage sheet the next one is the fancy square which unfortunately has sold out the largest one is eight by eight in size they drop down to one inch in half inch increments and you get 15 metal dies in this one the next one is the beautiful oval again you get um 15 metal dies in this one starting at eight by eight eight inches across and then working down to one inch in half inch increments and again comes with that magnetic storage sheet if you want these i would seriously be hopping over to the website now because we really have just a handful of, of these designs left we will be reordering but at the moment i don't have a date as to when they will be in if you would like if you're waiting for any of the designs keep an eye on the facebook page and sign up for the email newsletter because of course we will be sending out an email when anything is restocked thank you all so much for purchasing these dies we are honestly all kind of astounded at how quickly these have gone we thought these were going to last a, a long time but they've they've literally gone overnight so thank you all so so much for all of your support and for buying these dies i think you are going to absolutely love them when you get them home to craft with thank you all so much for joining me live tonight and um, i will be live again on the page on wednesday at two o'clock for the stamp along so if you haven't done so already, Ready, hop over at the website chloe'screativecards.co.uk if you scroll right down at the bottom of the page you'll see there's the blog if you click on there you've got your free pdf download and um your materials list for the stamp along on wednesday so we'll be making a lovely project using the fabulous fancy rectangles dies and i'll be showing you how to make a card blank and things like that so that'll be awesome that's two o'clock on wednesday and um, again please do just hop over the website have a look we've got so many goodies on there and like i say we've got a handful of these dies left so thank you all so much and i hope that you all have a fabulous weekend filled with craft and i'll see you all on wednesday bye